What's up guys? Welcome back to Pew Pew Brothers. Today, we're talking LBE. Especially uh, Bulletproof LBE. I got my buddy Lucas here. Somewhat of a local expert-ish. A little short though. Okay, he's a little short. <laughs> Hopefully I can, I got him in the frame. Hopefully. Maybe. Somewhere here. Yeah, we'll get down to it. Yeah. So I got my air mags, pistol mags on the outside. Right now I got a pair of skizzers in this one. Because I don't know why. You never know when you need them. In case I need to cut something. So, move up here. I got my awesome patches. Sog patch, America. And then I'm running a Blackhawk QD attachment. Um, Essentially, for a pistol, holster just kind of rotates in there and then quick. You can pop it off and put it on a hip holster or a drop leg or whatever. Um, I've got this one set up like this because when you go to sit in a car, it's nice to be able to take it off. Cause it kicks the gun off you quite a bit, about probably an extra inch, two inches off you. Yeah, probably about two. From a normal holster, two inches off, so it's nice to be able to take it off your hip when you sit in the car. And then also makes it easy to get at versus trying to reach down in here when you're sitting. But uh, this is for my 45, which I usually carry. Um, in here we're, we're running three A or three level yeah, three level plates. Three. I'm not exactly sure what they'll stop. I believe it's. 5.56 five, non-armor piercing is what these plates that I've got in here are good for. And they're Spartan plates front and back. I don't run side plates right now. He's a little big for that. Yeah, I'm too big for side plates. They would squeeze the bejeebus out of me. Yeah. They do make the soft plates, though, that we could possibly make them work. I think I'll probably try some soft but plates. They don't work. They don't work. I mean, it's better to try and not know. Or try and find out than not try and not know. Yep. I've um, got a little... On this list, there's a pocket here. That I could run, I could get a couple more mags in there. You can always put an extra plate in there if you want to put a little extra more protection. Yeah, I guess you could get a side plated fit right yeah. in there. Um, actually, two side plates because the side plates are only okay about six inches. Yeah, so yeah, you could do that. Put a soft plate in there too, help yeah. collect the shrapnel and stuff. Yep, uh, chances are more than likely I'm not gonna be getting shot at anytime soon, so that's not <laughs> really the point of this vest, but it'll it would work in that. Um, more than anything, it, if you've never worn a vest, they weigh like 50 pounds when you get a full load on them, so they're really good for working out. But it's fun to be able to go out and go shoot and practice with it, um, run your mags out of here. It's kind of, what do they call that, LARPing? Live action role playing. That yep. is like more of a medieval thing to do. Yeah, uh, I think they... But you can also do the airsoft one and actually oh, yeah. do the plastic BBs. Yep. It's the same setup. You can actually... It's just like actual... You're going in for a live fire training, but you're actually using a Air plastic stuff. BB yep. instead of an actual bullet so nobody actually dies. <laughs> um, this one is set up to hold all my real stuff, all my real AR mags and <clears> pistol mags. Yeah. Um, what's nice about it though is you can actually have it set up for different weights uh, or different plates that you can have in there. You can run soft plates or hard plates. Um, the soft plates are more of a very close or is more of a handgun round than anything else. Yep. Um, the steel plates or the composite plates are more of a higher caliber round. Um, with yours, you're more of a steel plate. I think is actually what yours are. Yeah, this one's a real full steel. Yep. Um, the military style ones that are the grade three and higher are actually a steel plate inside with a soft outer. Yep. Um, they stop pretty much everything. Um, the AR or uh, M16 rounds, 5.56 and 7.62 rounds, they'll stop those even with the armor piercings. Um, yours definitely would agree was mostly just you know, small rounds, yep. non armor piercing. Uh, most civilian rounds, let's put it that way. Right. Yeah, and then moving over to my side here, or a uh, dump pouch for when I am shooting. I've got a place that I can throw my extra mags. I don't usually run it rolled up. <laughs> the Velcro's good. Velcro works really well. <laughs> so you can, when you're, instead of 
dumping your mags on the ground, you actually re retain them. Uh, apparently that's not what the military does most of the time, from no. what I understand. No, no. Um, the one problem is, though, is you also got to think it takes you an extra two seconds yep. to reach back and dump it in there. Um, when <laughs> um, for, for me, I pay for my own magazine, so I like to retain them. Yeah. Um, I was at 13 bucks a piece. And it's snowy here, so that's you would never find them if you drop a mag out Not there. It'd be spring, spring. <laughs> yeah. And they're gonna be rusted. The springs in them are gonna be destroyed. And... Yeah. So it's a lot easier for me when I'm up and I go dry or I get close. I usually try not to run my gun dry, but I'm close. I rip a mag, and what I like to do is actually do a two-handed method where I retain the old mag, load the new one, so I'm live again, and then stuff my mag. If it's a partial, I'll put it back in. And I'll recycle them from right to left if you have time. Don't usually if you're out shooting. I'm usually running. Carry 120 rounds. I'll run through 120 rounds of 5.56 five, or 223 in no time. Yeah. So that's another. It's just training. It's all training. For me, though, the dump pouch is good because, like I said, I pay for my magazine. So I don't want to buy more every time. So. Put them in here, bring them back, load them up, throw them back in. Um, also on my left side, I carry a fixed blade Gerber knife. Uh, that's I don't nothing super fancy, I guess. Uh, it was recommended to me by a bunch of people that I know that were in the military. My cousin Todd. Gerber is a very well known military knife now. Yep. Um, used to be the uh, what's it called? Can't think of the name of it. <laughs> I have total brain fart on that one. Beats me. Yeah, Rambo knife. Oh, the uh, K bar. Yeah, K bar. Yeah, it used to be the military. It was the K bar knives. Now they're gone to pretty much all Gerber's. Group. I I really like this one because it's got it came with the Kydex sheath, which has really good retention for not actually having a buckle. <laughs> um, I did the crap job of putting it on. I'm probably gonna move it because I kind of like the idea of putting a couple more mags here. Um, yeah, which one? One here in the front. Yep. And then you can put one here in the back for a backup just in case. Um, it's a harder one to get to, but it's always nice to have an extra one that you can get to if you need it. Also, I've been thinking, I know they make double stacked um, ARs. They make, like, it's a kangaroo pouch that you can hold six AR mags and then still three pistols. I know it kind of gets you out here yeah. a long ways. But when you're at range day, it's not about, it's really not about, uh, going through buildings or anything it's more or less just you're off a range day right having fun it's um, fun to fun to do a little running and gunning and hit the you know i got a setup out here where i can go and run from cover to cover shoot but anyways uh then you can also if you want to turn around zach with the show um you can actually put a mag on both sides here um for an emergency one if you run out it's going to be a stretch for him because he's a little bit bigger of a guy the left i think this hand would be all right. um, but you can also hang the vest, you hang them down to where it only sits on the bottom two straps to where the mag sits down to here and it's easier to grab. Um, but you can also put the middle back here, you can have a medical kit. So if you were ever to go down, there's a medical kit there that, because the way it's trained is, you don't... Mine's a little different. Uh, mine's new. Uh, <laughs> literally brand new. Like I've had it for like not even a month. Uh, I haven't really done much with it. I um, don't even have plates in it right now because, well, plates are expensive. <laughs> um, if you're using it for workout, um, you can order online, um, 25 pounds. Um, you can do workout plates. Um, they're... Do squats. Yeah. <laughs> do squats. <laughs> um, for guys that can actually do them. Um, <laughs> I can't. It hurts too much. Uh, um, so you can buy the plates to put in there for workouts or, and I mean, I guess they would be good for, you know, if you get in a fight with somebody and... They want to punch you square in the chest. They're really going to hurt their hand. Yeah, they ain't going to hurt um, me much. But I mean, with, even with the vest on by itself with nothing on in it, there's a lot of protection already. So if you get in a fist fight, you got one of these on, it's not going to hurt as bad. Don't even do it. Styles of vest. Uh, Zach's got snaps on his that are a lot more. He's got a lot more snaps on his. Mine is completely Velcro except for one button right in the middle here. Everything else on my vest is Velcro. Um, this whole front lifts up. These two Velcro pieces come over. His lifts up and he's got snaps on his. Um, so that makes it easier for when you want to get the vest tighter. Um, you don't have to sit here trying to adjust and fight it. 
like I had to adjust, like fight with mine because you know we pulled it apart to look and show the similarities to them. Um, we might get to that a little bit later, but right now I don't feel like taking it off <laughs> and putting it back on again because it is a pain. Um, yeah, that's true. This one is a lot easier, quicker, just to. Yep. Because you set it, you really kind of set it with the straps underneath. Yep. With the snap, and then the Velcro is just to hold it all in place. Yep. Um, that is the nice thing about those. Um, this one also, I think, does yours have straps or buckles yep. up here? I do have buckles up yep. here. Yeah, so I got buckles up here. Yeah, I do have the buckles up here. Um, these are both run, I, yeah, they're both run where we can both run a radio or yep. a camel pack on them. <laughs> so another thing that you have to keep in mind with plate is if you don't, like, train with it, it's going to throw you out bad. Yeah, if you don't, I mean, if you want to buy a vest, buy a vest. Um, or a plate carrier, uh, whichever one you want to call it. Uh, if you want to just use it for working out, start small. Use just a vest by itself. Work your way up. If you want to train with it, do uh, your trap practicing, your rifle practicing, pistol pass practicing. Anything you want to do with that, wear your plates. Because if you don't, you're going to get comfortable without them, and you're going to go put them in, and you're going to be like, what the hell happened? Why am I so much heavier? And it, it changes up where you sh how you shoot, too. Most people like to put their gun more out here. Well, with the plate carrier, unless, I've got more of the shooter cut. Yeah. But, like, with this one here, you're going to have to run your gun here. Yeah. It's going to tell I ran. Yeah, it's kind of to each their own. It's all, it's all individual. Um, you, you think if, too, yeah. I only run the mag here if I'm sitting somewhere where I can't get to my rifle to my main gun easily. Otherwise, if you've got the pistol here and you're out walking around trying to shoot, I can't, you can't get these mags out. Yeah, and it's hard to see them either. Right. So if you need to look down at something, you can't see it because there's a giant pistol in the way. Yeah. Um, a lot of Another thing I do like about these pouches is you can fit your Leatherman in here. So if you're like me and you carry a Leatherman that's just way too big, yep. you can get it up out of your pocket. Yep. Um, and what's nice about having all the little attachments on here is you can pretty much add whatever you want to them. Yeah, they make a lot of different... There's so many different things you can put on these. Um, anything from medical bags to extra mag pouches to accessories of... You can get water... You can get canteen holders. You can get water bottle holders. Um, you can name it. You pretty much can get it. If you want something mounted to your chest, you can get it. So yeah. you, you want to mount a GoPro to right here, they make a mount that will go on these that will mount, mount it on your chest. Yep. You want it on your shoulder, they make the mount to put it on your shoulder with these. It's pretty much uh, all there for you. It's like adult Legos. They're like AR-15s. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> and um, if you're into tactical stuff, a vest is fun. You yeah. can just set it up how you want it, play with it, go out and shoot. And then when it, if it comes down to it, then you got it. And like I say, uh, if you want to put, if you want less on there, you put more on while you're training. You take some off when you, how you actually want it. Because the lighter it is whenever you actually need it, and the heavier it is when you're practicing, the better off you are. Because, you know, it's like, would you want to run a, a mile with an extra 60 pounds on you? I wouldn't want to run a mile anyway. Well, <laughs> I'll tell you what, typically, would you want to run a mile with a 60 pounds on you, or would you rather run a mile with 40 pounds? Right. Okay, so you make this vest as heavy as you can get it, do your training with it, you're training with all the weight on there, and then when you need it, the weight's off of there and you're ready to go. Yep. Um, so most plate carriers weigh anywhere from 40 pounds or so all the way up to 100 pounds, I've seen them. But the 100 pounder ones are carrier. the heavy duty, usually the guys carrying the 50 cal around are That's carrying those. Every heavy plate carrier. Um, of course, those guys are usually about your size, but a lot skinnier. Yeah. And usually about 4% body fat because all they do is carry around a 50 cal. Yep. With about 1,000 rounds of ammo. <laughs> Jeez. Um, oh, yeah. So, at any rate, that's oh, all I got. Really good got? for back support, too. Yeah, it squeezes you together for yeah, sure. Yeah, it keeps your, it keeps your posture where you <laughs> need to be. You're not slouching because if you slouch, it fits uncomfortable. So you <clears> stand upright. Can't really slouch much. It just jabs um, you. Yeah, well, you know, when you have one that actually covers, because you see, where's your belly button? Right here. Right there? Okay, my belly button's right here. <laughs> okay, so, now, we're going to talk about one extra thing here. Sizes. Yeah. Okay. This is medium. <laughs> yeah. This is a large. 
I'm I'm a pretty small guy. I'm only five foot five. I'm two hundred and ten pounds or so. Um, a little fat, not too much. But I got a small medium because I have a smaller torso. Zach needs a larger, a so large. I need a three. A, a large narrow is what you need. Yeah. Because you want to cover here, but you want to have movement. So, so I went with this one because, well, for more than one reason. But <clears throat> how do I say this? You want a hand-to-hand -hand combat? I, I'm I'm good at beating. I can't say that. I'll just cut that out. Yeah, for 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 hands to hand. Hand to hand. You, you want hand -hand I, I can movement. I can do this with a plate and that. You wouldn't be able no, to fucking do because that. Because you see how it folds in the middle, it wouldn't be able to. Do it. All right, because the got, plate's gonna come to here. Right, and I have a plate in mine, and I can move. Yeah, and that was the. But the thing is, is if I get the same size plate, I should yeah, still you get be a able shooter to shooter plate. But well, I'm quite a bit wider than you in the chest, so yeah, it's still gonna. I'm always. I don't know. I'm short. Okay. Um, but. It's more or less just what you're comfortable with. This protects with. all my vitals, so. Yeah. Um, what what saved my life in, when I was over is I actually had side plates in. Um, I took a piece, shook the trap to my side. It took The plate carrier took most of it. Then my hook took the rest of it. But it uh, saved my life having my plate carrier, having my uh, side Sorry, plates man. in. Um, I just had soft ones in, but it was enough to stop some shrapnel. Um, because otherwise it would have been all in my intestines and everything else. And it's like it shot in the gut. You will bleed out. So, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'll be investing in some side plates, some soft armor. Yeah, soft armor. Um, with your size, you might want to run two on each side. <laughs> yeah, get them to cover the whole. Yeah, because you should be able to run one in the plate carrier here, and then one back here, um, which would definitely cover up your vital areas on your sides. And if somebody decided they wanted to punch you in the rib cage, it's not gonna hurt you. Right. Um, I mean, it was if they punched in the rib cage with these on. It's still this is it distributes the weight, yeah. uh, the pressure. Because um, instead of you know all of the pressure right there, it's going to be spread out over by a six seven inch area, instead of just your where your fist is. Chances are I'm not going to get punched from wearing this. Nah, they're probably just trying to shoot you instead. Right. But rather have it better, rather be the safe. Sorry. Yep. At any rate, uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Leave some comments. Make sure you share it. 